Perfect Portrait is a great program for streamlining your portrait retouching workflow. When you're dealing with an image with one face or multiple faces, you can quickly make adjustments to your photo. You'll see the program automatically selects the face or faces in your image. By clicking inside one of those faces, you can zoom in and you'll have the ability to make adjustments to your facial feature points around the eyes, lips, and teeth. On the right hand side of your screen you have your skin retouching pane where you can add things like smoothing, blemish removal, or shine reduction. You can color correct your image based on skin tone instead of white point, and you can make eye and mouth adjustments like adding detail to the irises or adding vibrance to the lips to really make your portrait stand out. On the left hand side of the screen you'll see a panel pops up when you have a face selected. Right now we have the ability to adjust the facial feature points that you're looking at on the subject's face. One of the most important aspects of Perfect Portrait is adjusting the skin area mask. If I click that button on the left hand side, you'll be able to take a look at the skin mask where the skin retouching pane works its magic. To make adjustments, you'll automatically have a brush tool selected where you can paint in and out changes to this skin mask and really make sure it's as accurate as possible. If you need to make manual retouching adjustments to your photo, you can go over to the left hand side of your screen and you can select our perfect eraser, which is our content aware fill tool and our retouch brush to go in and clean up blemishes that maybe the blemish removal and smoothing sliders didn't quite remove. You'll also see arrow keys on the left and right hand sides of your preview area. If you're working with an image where there are multiple faces in the photo, by clicking on one of those areas, it'll jump to the next face and you can jump right into retouching your next portrait. Once you're done, you can go to the bottom right hand corner and click save and move on to the rest of the editing in your image.